Teresa Villa, and it's owned by the monastery. And it's about 200 years old. About eight years ago, they did a major restoration, and Kaomoto san was hired as a, a consultant for the, uh, as a garden historian. So we're going to see the public garden, but we're also going to see the private villa, which is because of its delicate uh, structural nature and the, the fine carpentry, woodworking. It's so delicate that it can't be open to the public. So we have a Kamo san has invited us to uh, see that. So this is the villa at Hogoin that we're going to be going inside of. It's a couple hundred years old and it's a Sukiya style architecture which was born with the tea houses of the late 1500s. This is actually the, the liner of a um, of the of the, um, the the well here is made out of fire one clay. tree that's about uh, thirty feet long and it's the center for this ceiling that is also made from um, woven wood and like a basket. But this is yet we're asking about that fence that's in the middle of the garden there. We were walking by and you asked, you asked the purpose of that. Yeah. And the purpose of that is um, by placing a fence there, uh, it acts as a kind of a, a backdrop and it helps to bring in the depth of the garden closer to, to give it more of a sense of intimacy. Without that, our view of sight would go very deep and we'd see more, but it would, would not seem nearly as intimate. So you always want a garden which is wider than it is deep. あの、ごかんっていうのは日本ではごかんね。それから花の匂い、それから口で味わう、耳で聞く触るこの5つの物を生かして庭を感じなんだらね。で、口であのどう言うんですか、風の風とか葉っぱの匂いの混ざったものを